What is going on guys, it is Ashley here, welcome back to another Walls video. Today I've got some more transfer news for you, starting with Adama Traore. Now the Spanish winger has uh, finally joined Wolves on a five year deal for a club record fee of £18 million. Um, he, he made the most dribbles in the championship last season, over a hundred more than his closest competitor uh, Luke Freeman, I do believe it was, um, from Queen's Park Rangers. So he's definitely, um, without a doubt, very good on the ball. Uh, but obviously the Championship is, is it's a whole different league to the Premier League. Uh, and, and there's a massive gap in quality uh, between the, the Championship and the Premier League. But nevertheless, um, to, to get over 200 dribbles, um, uh, get the most dribbles in the championship and over 100 more than your closest competitor, uh, in the ch even in the championship it, uh, or of any league of that matter, is still very, very good. Um, uh, but the only thing that is missing is his end product, but I, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm pretty certain that, that Nuno will be able uh, to re revolutionise him uh, like he did uh, with Connor Cody last season. The second transfer that looks uh, like it's going to go through is Leander Dane Donker. Um, it's reported that uh, a 12 million p amount of pound move is going to be finalised later this evening, um, according to Tim Spears. Um, he, he will be joining from Belgian club uh, Anderlecht, uh, he is a midfielder, uh, so not really a position that we need strengthening in. Um, we've already got Ruben Neves, uh, João Moutinho, um, Romain Saiz is a defensive midfielder um, is, as well in that role, so we've got We've got countless amount of midfielders. We've got plenty of midfielders. I don't really understand why we need another one. Um, I don't really understand. But I guess if if he does bring quality to the side, then 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 so be it. Um, so as I said, he he is completing a twelve million pound move. Uh, should be later. Um, later this evening uh, from Arndelect um, and uh, yeah I'm a, bit, I'm a bit confused on this one personally I think we, we've got more than enough uh, midfielders um, but if he, had, if he has quality to decide then that, that's a bonus but um, yeah personally I don't think <laughs> I, I think we've, we, we've got uh, plenty of midfielders but if it's just uh, um, <laughs> If it has quality side, then then so be it. And finally, we've got uh, Zinchenko from Man City. Uh, a fee has been agreed between the two clubs of sixteen million pounds. This one again um, has been going on for a while. It went off, and then it's come back on again. And a fee has been agreed between Wolves and Man City of 16 million pounds and all of this added up all the transfer spending this summer comes up to 84 million that's just that's just 16 million off 100 million pounds worth of players um hopefully that hopefully that doesn't end end up in us uh, being being relegated we can, we can see we, we saw um Newcastle spending quite a bit uh, a couple of seasons ago uh, and they got relegated to the championship um so hopefully the same doesn't happen to us but I'm I'm pretty certain we will will we will survive in the division uh, anyway uh but yeah 84 million that that's that just shows what kind of owners we have we have owners that, that want to spend money, want to spend big, um, want, want to get in quality players uh, and yeah that, that just that just shows the type of owners folks that are. Uh, if you did enjoy this uh, transport update make sure to smash that like button and uh, I shall see you in a couple of days with a kind of a kind of prediction video uh, with all uh, 
how, how well Wolves, I think, are going to do this season. Until then, goodbye guys!